You know, I just thought of something. It's kind of crazy, but I just thought of something. Goosebumps video, of course. So we're not getting any Goosebumps toys whatsoever. There's no Goosebumps figures. There's nothing like that. Okay, understandable. Well, why hasn't anyone actually just start to 3D print them? I mean, I know it might be hard to do, and Transformers-wise, it seems like that's pretty easy, but of course, I know it's going to take lots of detail, lots of stuff, but just noticing how someone actually made Dinobot from 3D printing, and he did it all by himself, I'm pretty sure we could actually do some good stuff, but of course, I can't, of course, I don't have a 3D printer, and... It's kind of interesting, plus I have to actually talk with a bunch of you guys, total fans, so I'm actually able to make a book-accurate version of the figure and also an episode version of the figure. One of them I was thinking about is Mask Mutant. Mask Mutant would be a cool figure to have, and technically you have three versions of them. You have the one that's in the book, you have the one that's in the TV show, and you have the one that is in the video game. A horror would be cool to have. Uh, actual interesting horror. You can actually, of course, you know, Slappy. Yeah, of course. And Slappy has so many damn variations. It's not even funny. Uh, let's see. Um, of course, the werewolf of F Fever Swamp, along with werewolf skin werewolf. So it's like there's so many werewolves that you can actually just enjoy yourself with. So it's like there is some interesting figures you can do. And of course, you can go cheap like the Barking Ghost figure where you just have a white dog with red eyes pretty damn easy to do <laughs> of course making a car so haunted cars it's like some interesting stuff where it's like i wonder why hasn't anyone actually just said okay well fine frick this i'm doing it <laughs> it's like yeah frick this i'm doing it i'm gonna make wave one of toys put it everywhere the only messed up part would just be if you put it anywhere it's like he has to do word of mouth and yes he can do reddit Okay, sure, you can do Reddit, you can do Discord. Interesting enough, you like, because I bet there's like some Goosebumps places, Goosebumps forums and stuff that you can spread it around. And of course, one thing I was thinking about Goosebumps, I mean, not Goosebumps, <laughs> of course, Goosebumps, but YouTube. It's like, why not actually just make your own? And you almost like have to do some nice little dapping stuff and try to actually find someone who actually knows how to do some commercial editing stuff and make his own commercial for the toys and that would be pretty interesting the only messed up part about this is what scholastic will say to this that's the only messed up part of this is what will scholastic say to him actually making toys based on the books and episodes and movie what will they say? Will they say cease and desist when it's like, oh, but wave one would be awesome. And technically, he doesn't even actually have to say that he did anything. The only way how they would know is if, you know, like, for instance, let's just say he gives his own website. If he gives his own website, it won't actually say anything about how many he sold. So for all you know, it could actually be a failed project. But of course, well, considering you do have a... It's like considering you do have like and commenting on YouTube, there could actually be Scholastic who looks at it and be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> as soon as they see lots of people liking the freaking thing, it's like, oh, hell no. Lots of people commenting saying, oh, I would love it. I would love to have that. And it will be cool to actually have Haunted Mask too. And there'll be, of course, three versions because there's actually four versions. I think there's one in the book, one in the cover, one from the movie and one from the TV show. And a TV show can have even more variations, too. So it's like it's pretty crazy. So we'll just see how that can go. But of course, this is just saying someone could actually do it. Someone could actually step up and do this. And if they do, well, I'm pretty sure they'll make a decent amount of money. I'm pretty sure Goosebumps number one Aussie fan would support them. Zach Baby TV would support them. And many other people will support them. Um, what was their call? What was it called? The one that's only on Instagram? 90s Nostalgia Society. I think that was it. Something like that. But anyways, it's like you have a decent clientele. The only question is, it's just that do you have a 3D printer? If you do, good. Now you actually have to be designed. So that maybe it means that he, depending on if he actually is very, very talented and stuff, then that means that he can easily make it. The only other part is that, <clears throat> again, 
Scholastic, what will they say about this? Do they want pieces of pie? Will they actually be like, oh, well, it's like, it, will they say yes, thumbs up? And then they'll basically be like, oh, we want to put these in stores and everything. We want to actually do. It's like, it's amazing if they actually take over and be like, okay, well, yeah, that won't work though. It's like, <laughs> it's like you have to get the ball running and then it's like, hmm, what about the QT qualities? It's like, if you go into a actual factory and stuff the qt qualities can go down comparing to his is where he's like he's doing 3d printing and it's personally customed and of course well again if he's like having two or three people like for instance <clears throat> well it depends on how artistic this person is because he could actually make a you know a card for it and also make so he can actually make it look like an actual figure that you buy at the store that would be pretty awesome and that's about it that's basically it the only question again is what will scholastic say about this will scholastic actually support him and actually say hey this is an official product of goosebumps or will they actually shut it the hell down saying oh hell no only we can make money on this and then it's like so only you can make money on this well where's your product where's the toys and they're like, we can only make money on this. And it's like, what the frick? Uh, just like Creepy Co. It's like, we can only make money on this. Yeah, we're done with you. <laughs> it's like, we're done with you. You did enough. We're good. <laughs> it's like, we're good. You did enough product, even though you had more product set up and you were very, very inspired. But frick that, there's enough product in the world. We're good. It's like, oh my goodness. And just like I say in many other videos when it comes to toys and merchandising and stuff, Bring Parachute Press back. Parachute Press did a very good job. Bring them back. Okay, I don't know what happened. Of course, it was under dealings and they were like, oh, you're taking more money from us, even though it's like, but you're earning money anyways, right, bastard? They're just getting even extra money out of it. And as long as you have money from it and they're not truly screwing you over, where it's like, oh, we're just, <clears throat> like for instance, let's say they're both 50-50. And then all of a sudden they secretly do 40, 60, where they get 60% and you get 40. That's bullshit. Now, <clears throat> given technically math wise, it still would maybe show 40, 60. But the thing is that <clears throat> the 50% from the 50% is fine, but they're getting an extra 10%, which means technically it's like 50, 60, but still you're getting your 50%, right? So does that really actually harm you? But if by some some miracle this video goes somewhere and someone's like, I have a 3D printer, I'm very artistic, or at least I know a friend who could do it, or there's a group of people who actually are like, oh, we're so into doing this project, please do it. Will I buy you something? Not buy something from you? No. I would just at least like to inspire. If I inspired you to do this, I'll be happy because the Goosebumps fans here, they're not getting much out of this. And oh my gosh, talking about having the freaking werewolf figure, <laughs> having a one of the werewolf figures, because you can make many variations, many vari variants from this. Having a freaking werewolf figure would be freaking damn awesome. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And of course, you know, when it comes to these days, you know, articulation is the thing, right? So you need to make sure you know that articulation is a part of this and you need to make sure that articulation, it can be highly posable. It would be very, very cool. As for making kids and things, it's like, ah, uh, you'll figure out some way. Maybe someday you'll, because you can just make bland and plus you can make multiple variants of kids because it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, and in some case it might, but of course you have to listen to people when you say, oh, but we would like to have, um, crap. What was his name from Werewolf Fever Swamp? But anyways, have the main antagonist half the hero if you want to call him a hero half all the heroes from the from it's just saying if you listen to the all the people and saying oh we would like to have figures of kids too or it's like okay well you guys gonna have to figure out something and at least the good news is that you can actually go to horror town and inspire from that <laughs>